hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Laura and this is Laura's Little Library. So, we are finally starting the actual vlogs, the things I've been talking about for a very long time it seems. I am so ready. So this first week, obviously, thrills and chills. Thrills, chills, spooks. It's what it is. So excited. So I will be reading mostly thriller, kind of generic, horror, spooky, just your overall spooky vibe mystery books. And this is the category that I have the most book choices of. I have so many books that I bought and own for this category and I'm not expecting to read them all but I would love to read as many as possible so with that in mind I've decided that the first two books that I'm going to read are going to be the two shortest that I have on the list so that will be House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland and Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia I am going to start with these two books because they are very much the shortest books that I have and so I think I can get through those very quickly. So my goal is to read three. I always wanted to read at least three books a week. I made sure I have at least three books in each category so that is possible. Um, so I want to read these two plus one more but theoretically I would love to read way more than that because these are so short. Like. If you haven't seen my haul where I've kind of explained all this, I'll have it linked down below. It has a whole reading extravaganza talked out and expressed in a way that hopefully is understandable. Um, but I do have four other books. I've got like One by One by Ruth Ware, The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix, 56 Days. I don't remember I don't remember who that's by, but it's Catherine something. And then I also have Wilder Girls by Rory Powers, and two of them, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter or any of my other social media, then you don't know that I am participating in Spoopathon, and one of the prompts is a trick or treat. And so I've actually chosen two books uh, from this week's TBR. One is my trick, one is my treat. Uh, so far, one of them is definitely winning by far on every account of social media, um, but I'm telling it all up between all of the accounts, so that is the one true winner. Um, so that was between One by One by Ruth Ware and Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. Looks like Wilder Girls is going to win, which I am a-okay with because I want to read it. And I got a comment saying that One by One is like, wintry vibes which makes sense because it takes place in winter and winter causes them to be all trapped together so i'm not super upset if i don't read it during spooky season because i'll read it during winter season maybe when winter ween is happening because i would uh, that would actually be very perfect but yeah i've got my comfy pumpkin pillow here i have got my cup trick or drink full of apple cider I am ready to go. I'm going to start with House of Hollow because this is one I have an audiobook for and so I'm going to sit here and listen to the audiobook and read. That is something that I've started doing recently and I found that I love doing that is listening to the audiobook while I'm reading it. So I have the audiobook for this one. I'm on hold for the audiobook for this one but I should be getting it soon. So that's the plan. It's six o'clock. Yeah, it's just past 6 o'clock and I've already come home from work and kind of done most of my things so I can really just spend the rest of this time reading and that is what I would very much love to do. So I'm going to move one chair over into my reading chair so I can get started on this book and on my spooky season reading extravaganza. Oh, I'm so excited.
I'm just gonna do a very quick update. It's almost midnight, I am dead tired, and I didn't read too much of House of Hollow. I got like 50 pages in. Yeah, I got 50 pages in, I'm up to chapter 5, and it's good. I think I'm a little nervous because it's been so hyped up that I, I don't want to read it and have it be a disappointment because of the hype, so I'm trying to clear my mind of it all. And then I got the audiobook for Mexican Gothic, so I will start that as soon as House of Hollow is done. And that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Also, my work schedule changed, and it's terrible, so <laughs> it's not terrible, but I'm definitely working a bunch of overtime this week, so that leaves for less reading time, but you know what? It's okay. It's all deal. And I'll come home from work and I'll read, and then I'll fall asleep because I'm tired and reading makes me even sleepier. So, good night. Catch up with you tomorrow on Friday. is 11 30 on saturday i did not update you at all yesterday on friday i meant to and then i didn't because i came home from work and i was tired but then i did a lot of reading but then as soon as i stopped reading i just went right to bed because i was super tired so i have things to update you on and i'm gonna do that now so i got 150 pages into house of hollow um, I took the dust jacket off, which is not something I normally do when I read hardcover books, but I, I did it this time. So I'm 125 pages in, I'm almost halfway through, and basically kind of what it's been like is it's been in a lull, like, oh, the sister is missing, okay, they need to find her, they keep reaching out, they keep reaching out, and I just felt like they weren't doing anything other than sending her texts, and that just wasn't very exciting to me, and then all of a sudden I hit page like 70 or 80 or something, and oh, I like, like, I wish I had been filming myself. I, I wasn't filming because I was like, it's kind of at a lull, nothing's interesting. And then all of a sudden, like, like a sentence happened and I just went, I had like this big reaction. It was really stupid looking, so I'm sorry you missed it. But like, and then I started to like freak out and I was a little bit like hauntedly freaked a little bit for the rest of the night. And it was so cool, and it, it just, it was one of those things where it's like, oh, it freaked me out, and I loved it. So, I am very motivated to keep reading this. I, I want to finish it today. I need to run an errand and do a couple cleaning chores around the house. But then, as soon as that's done, I'm going to finish this book, and then I'm going to start Mexican Gothic. That, that is my plan. Yeah, that's my update. I'm loving House of Hollow. I felt like it was a little slow at the beginning but if it picks up. I'm afraid that it might be a book that like gets super exciting and then lulls for a bit and then gets super exciting again, but I'm hoping that there's no there's no lull, there's no dip. If it can keep being exciting, that would be, would be what I want, but we'll see. I'm just super excited. So yeah, I'm going to run my errand, listen to an audiobook, obviously, but I don't... The two audiobooks I have for this week's themed reading I have the physical books for and I want to sit down and like read with the audiobook so I'll probably be listening to a non-thriller audiobook which was not my initial plan but it's okay it's okay because I want to read the book anyway oh one other thing as I mentioned in my recent reads video so if you haven't seen that video you should check it out it'll be linked in the description um, but I recently finished reading Beach Read um, like right before I started this week's thriller theme, so it's a very interesting contrast of going from contemporary romance to thriller. <laughs> um, but I finished reading Beach Read and I and I loved it. I just got cried at the end. Again, I talk about this in my recent reads video. But then <laughs> our housemate went 
and bought me People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry because this is the same author and I had mentioned that I wanted to read this next or at least read it soon. Again, it's another summer read so I don't know if I'd try and quick fit it in now or wait till next year. I would love to fit it in now but again, Thriller Week is like the week with the most books to read. So, but she got this for me and it was so sweet of her. It was so nice and kind of her to do that. Oh, I am forever thankful. But yeah, so now I have these two books and I am really excited. Okay, now I'm gonna go run on my ear and listen to my audiobook. I'll catch you up when I am about to like start reading or like do something interesting. Hello. So it is about nine o'clock Saturday night. And I finished it. Also, if you hear a noise in the background, that's a dishwasher, but I, I need to film this now. So it's 9 o'clock, and I finished House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Oh my goodness. It went there. It, it took me a minute. So I read this in two big sittings, pretty much, and I loved this book. It was... Like, the perfect amount of, like, creepy weirdness without going too far for me. Like, it all tied together. It all made sense. It just, it blew my mind. And every time you would figure something out, it would be confirmed, like, the next page. Like, there were so many elements to the story that as soon as something started to become clear, that it would be confirmed. That's exactly what it was. And so it was nice and I loved the plot twists. And so basically, yeah, this follows three sisters who disappear for a month and they come back and they have no recollection. Their hair is now white and their eyes are dark and a lot of crap happens. And then when they're older, their oldest sister goes missing um, like this is 10 years later so the other two try and find her and I feel like it had a slightly slower beginning than what I would have liked but once it got started it got going and I was like on the edge of my seat almost the entire time I was just constantly I need to know what happens next I need to know what happens next I wish I had been filming myself reading the second half of this book because I'd be like halfway through it and I'd just go like Like, I had those big reactions. I was, like, catching my breath. I was flipping out. It, I have not reacted this much to a book in a very long time. And it was so nice and refreshing. And it just creeped me out. And it had such beautifully eerie themes, like, with nature and death. Yeah, it was, like, the perfect amount of mystery and thriller and just oh my word like there's a one point it was almost like a jump scare in a book and it solidly creeped me out because I had to stop reading after that to go to bed last night and it just oh my word it, just, it got me it got me so good it was exactly what I wanted and it was so satisfying and I am so glad that the person at the store like solidified my idea to purchase this I would highly recommend this book for its spooky vibes my goodness that is one book down for this week's reading vlog and the first book completed for my reading extravaganza now I will pick this book up next I will pick up Mexican Gothic next because it is my shortest book um, and I know what vaguely my priority of what book I'm gonna read next and keep going yeah, pretty much all the way through this week um, but I'm hoping I could read this just as quickly as I read House of Hollow if not faster um, so that by the time Wednesday comes I will or so that if I finish this like tomorrow ish I still have a couple of days to read a couple other books but we'll see yeah I'm really excited to read this um, this was really popular like a couple of years ago it's about a girl who receives a letter from her sister summoning her to mexico because there's trouble in the house with her husband 
and she goes there and then her sister's like oh no everything's totally fine but she just does not feel comfortable so I hope to start this tonight I'll prob I would love to update you before I go to bed if I actually do read a significant chunk of this but yeah and the other thing with House of Hollows I kept being like I should stop and I should film my reactions and film my theories and things I think are going to happen and then I was like no I just want to finish I just want to keep going but yeah so I'm a little nervous though to be picking up another thriller book so quickly after that just because it was so good I'm rating it five stars so I don't want this to be not as good because I'm reading it right after something else especially since it's been so hyped and I've been wanting to read it for so long so we'll see my weekend activity slash my fall activity we went to Ren Fest. we went to the renaissance festival uh here in minnesota it was so much fun i've gone a couple of times in michigan um but oh it was so much fun learned lots of things bought one thing met an author who is self-published and so i will probably look into some of his books just because it sounds fun and they sounded like really cool fantasy with really great worlds he just he had to be he, the only way he was gonna do it was through self-publish so I might order some books from him sometime in the future after I've recovered from my big old hole and if you haven't seen that it'll be linked in the description you can watch my big haul um, but yes so it is now uh, Sunday night ish it's like it's past six o'clock what time is it yeah it's 6 15 so it's sunday night and i didn't update you last night because i was tired but i did read the first chapter of mexican gothic um i like that it got to the point in the first chapter in the first 15 pages it just like here's who this person is here's the situation here's what you're gonna do and i really appreciate that because in the other one it like in a lot of other books and even in house of hollow it took a little bit to uh, really get going but this just went right to it um, yeah I would love to do some reading tonight although I know there are some other things that I need to do I need to like work and do some planning and whatnot so I would like to read more but I think that this is mostly going to be a Monday book which only leaves me like <laughs> two days <laughs> to read some of the other books I wanted to this week, but you know what, I read this and I read one other book, I'm gonna be happy, but I'm looking at my selection and I'm like, oh, I really wanted to read that one, and that one, oh, and that one. So, we'll see how this goes, but as long as I can finish this and one other, I will have completed this week's reading vlog, but we shall see. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the little glimpses of Renfest. I did dress up a little bit, it was kind of a last minute, but I had like a good poofy white shirt, belt, leggings, sandals, like, and a lot of like uh, Renfest style jewelry. So, yeah, it was so much fun, and I love doing it every summer, early fall. It was really hot, really dusty, but yeah. All right, I will catch you guys up when I've done some significant reading of this. Probably won't be till tomorrow, but. You never know. Hello. I figured I should probably update you. Um, so it's Monday. It's 5 o'clock. It's later uh, in the day. And I'm not feeling very well. It's not COVID. I don't have any symptoms. It's something completely unrelated. Um, don't worry. But, so I'm kind of taking it easy today. I've been watching a lot of booktube. And I hope to do a lot of reading just because... It's a, I think it's going to be a lot easier to read when you're sick, when um, you have the audiobook and the physical copy, so yeah, that way I don't need to be doing something when I'm listening, but I also will hopefully be able to concentrate when I'm sitting there and reading, so 
very short clip for today. Um, I think that Renaissance Festival yesterday burnt me out, but it was so much fun and so worth it. But, yeah, so I may or may not update you later with what I've read. I haven't made any progress on Mexican Gothic, so I will make progress on that tonight. Hopefully I'm feeling better tomorrow, and I have a more interesting and entertaining day, especially a better day to show you, so. See you then. Hello. Yes, I did just take a shower. My hair is wet. We're gonna have to move on from that. But it is Tuesday morning, so good morning. Um, I have realized that I'm probably gonna end up finishing this vlog either tonight or tomorrow. So I'm gonna use all of Wednesday to edit the vlog so it can go up on Thursday, but because I work both Wednesday and Thursday, um, I will probably be ending this Tuesday night, which is tonight, so either I do all my reading, I update Tuesday night, and that's it, or I do some reading, and then I update you Wednesday after work, and then immediately go into editing, so that's kind of how the vlog is going to end, but don't worry, it's not ending yet, because like I said, it's Tuesday morning, so I've decided that I am going to watch my spooky movie of the week. Um, and while I do that, I will get some work done, and then when that's done, I'm gonna spend as much time after that reading as I can. So, yeah, it'll kind of be the mad dash to finish the thrillers for the week. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get started on the movie, do some work, and then we'll read, and I'll give you a final update. Also, there are so many options for thriller movies, thriller slash horror movies for this week. Uh, but I've decided to go with a kind of more ridiculous and comedic one just because it is like early in the day And I don't want to watch something really good because I want to leave all the goodness for my book So I will be watching a ridiculous funny movie that makes fun of the thriller horror genre And I will be making fun of it as we go So <laughs> yeah, don't judge me on my movie choices I, I, I choose terrible movies, I always do So I just finished Mexican Gothic. It's past 10 o'clock on Tuesday. Um, I finished this. No idea what I'm going to rate it. I, I don't want to rate it five stars, but I might. I don't, I, just, I don't know. It's too soon to tell. But wow, that was a very different thriller than House of Hollow. Just Oh, so very different. Definitely a look up trigger warnings for this, but also I can't tell you what they are because I don't want to spoil it, but I just, wow, very different. Still very good, still very good, but oh my goodness, it left me in a different kind of shock. Where like House of Hollow was just amazing and creative and a very interesting story, and this, compared to it, is like, I see the contrast within the thriller genre, but I also see, like, the similarities, and even just, like, themes between these two books specifically are really interesting if you, like, look at the themes of plants and, uh, flower and natures. Um, it's, it's very interesting reading them back-to-back -back in that way, but, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> I have finished these two books. I think this one is still a little too fresh to talk about. Whereas this one, I would just love to talk about. 
I think Grey was just such an interesting character, and I'm so glad it wasn't from, like, I'm, I'm so glad we followed the youngest sister the entire time, because I loved seeing the contrast between the sisters, but I especially just loved, like, hearing and learning about Grey with the other sisters, and learning about, you know, what happened to them, and what was going on, versus this one was really interesting, because I it started off and it, you immediately kind of knew what was going on but then it was just at a medium pace all the way until the end and then the last like 100 pages this is only 300 pages long so the last like 75 to 100 ish pages it just was like the ending but the ending lasted like you're like oh my word is it gonna finally be done but oh my word there's so many pages left and then you know things just kept happening and I kept reading it faster and faster and I was like oh my word and I still had 20 pages left I was like what's going on but my goodness so I very much liked both of these books which was really nice obviously I have like some very small issues with them but not really anything special um and again too with this one because it was just so interesting um if there was anything that i predicted or i was like oh i bet this is gonna happen it was either revealed very shortly or i learned like more information especially why that wasn't the case um so again it was really nice but again i also don't know if that's because of my inexperience in the genre or like these were actually really good books but both I've heard so many good reviews of these books that I like to assume it's because they're good books now it is Tuesday and I <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do well okay that's a lie I kind of know what I'm gonna do so for the last like 45 minutes before I go to bed I am going to start Wilder Girls by Rory Power this was the book that was the winner of my trick-or-treat thing um, so I will be reading this to fulfill that there is one other thriller book I would love to get to I just really want to get to the final girl support group um, and I'm hoping that will be a quicker read this one feels thicker than the other ones but I know that the final girl support group had some mixed media in it and that generally helps the reading of it to go quicker um, obviously I'm not gonna finish both of these books like obviously not tonight I'm not even gonna finish one tonight but what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm going to read thriller all the way through Wednesday and then start next week's theme dark academia on Thursday however I don't know if I'll be able to update you on Wednesday with all of my reading for this because I will be editing and putting the vlog up so I will hopefully update you either one more time tonight or very quickly tomorrow and it will be in Thursday's vlog that you'll get the final like if I actually finished another book or got a significant chunk into another book um, but when Thursday does happen I will stop reading whatever thriller I am in and I will switch to the Dark Academia and because I have so many extra thrillers, and even if I don't finish one more, I can push them off to Halloween. Because I <laughs> I have everything planned up all the way to the Thursday before Halloween. So that leaves me a couple days plus Halloween itself. And so I'm kind of going to use that as a leftover of, I didn't get to this thriller and I really wanted to. Or I need to finish this book, blah, schmer, whatever. So... Yeah, that's kind of the plan. I'm going to read a little more. I'm going to read thrillers through Wednesday. But, yeah. So I will update you at least once more uh, just to give beginning thoughts for another for another book. I've just been holding this one up. Um, I'm sorry I didn't give very many thoughts of, like, Mexican Gothic as I was reading it. I read up to chapter 5 uh, before yesterday. Really? Air conditioning? I was so close! Okay, the air conditioning kicked in, but I don't want to stop filming this and turn the AC off. It's just going to be too much of a hassle, so I hope you can still hear me. But, oh shoot, what was I saying? Yeah, 
I don't know. I'm gonna finish reading thrillers through Wednesday. Thursday I'll start Dark, Dark Academia um, for that vlog, but leftovers will be for Halloween. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Mexican Gothic. I had read up to chapter 5 yesterday, and then today when I started reading, which was later in the day than I wanted to, I just sat down and read the entire thing basically in one sitting. Um, I didn't really break at all, and that was because I wanted to make sure I finished it today. So I was like, either I could break and possibly not finish it, or I could not break and just talk about it more at the end. So, alright, I'm gonna get to reading now. Okay, let's close out this vlog now. It is Wednesday night, and I am going to close, like I said, close out the vlog because I need to get to editing so I can go up Thursday morning. Um, but first, most important business of today, happy first day of fall. Um, yeah, it is the first day of fall, which is why I have changed into a sweater. Because even though it's not super sweater weather outside, it's still fall. So, it's, it's very much where I live, it's sweater weather in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it's still t-shirt and shorts weather. So, we're getting there, we're getting there. But right now, I am wearing a sweater, um, because it's the first day of fall, and it's one of my favorite fall sweaters, so. Anyway, now that that has been acknowledged, let's talk about the books. So, I finished two books as of right now, uh, House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland and Mexican Gothic. I talk about these quite a bit, so I will keep it brief. Um, House of Hollow, five out of five stars couldn't guess it because it was just it seemed so random but at the same time like yeah um so much fun once it picked up i got really going into it couldn't put it down loved it love the themes of nature in this and how nature plays a part i love the world building while it is still set in our world nod to mythology here i loved it and then mexican gothic i'm still gonna rate pretty highly i don't I keep going back and forth between 4 and 5 stars, so at the moment I think it's a 4.5 star. I don't have too much of a good reason to rate it 5 star or 4 star. I mean, I obviously very much enjoyed it. There were only a few little things here and there that kind of were a little like hard to get through or like the pacing was difficult to deal with or... You know, just little things here and there, but just enough to make me think, was it a five-star read? But not, like, enough to really say, this is a four-star read. Because, no, this was still a really good book that I enjoyed. And very different kind of thriller than this one. So it was really funny. But again, with the themes of nature in here, like, the writing is beautiful. I love the writing. So metaphoric, such vivid imagery. And... Oh my word, it, it definitely made me think about some other things in my life. Um, but I don't want to say too much because all the things I want to talk about are spoilers. I am thinking about starting to add spoiler sections to videos, but making it very clear so you can skip ahead. I don't know, I haven't decided. Let me know if you think I should start talking about spoilers, but making it very clear so that if you don't want spoilers, you can skip it and keep going in the video. I don't know, let me know. So these are the two that I have finished for the vlog. Now, Wednesday is not over, which means I will not stop reading thriller books for this week. Um, tomorrow I will start on Dark Academia and put down the thrillers, but until then, for the like four more hours that it is Wednesday, I still have some books I wanna read. For example, I have started Wilder Girls, and I am, how many pages? I'm like, yeah, I'm 34 pages. I'm chapter three. I'm not that far into it. It's, it's interesting because it kind of just plops you right in the middle of the situation and you're kind of learning as you go along. And so it seems like these girls are quarantining on an island because there's this disease that is changing them in some way, shape, or form. Um, so it's interesting. Um... I have the audiobook for this as well, so I'm doing that thing where I sit and listen to the audiobook as I read. So, I could read a little more of this tonight, but also, I also started uh, the Final Girl Support Group, because these are two books that I need to read, like, for readathon prompts, and that I just really wanted to get through. 
Um, so I did start the final girl support group and for this one, I'm only 23 pages in. So I'm not like further into one over the other. I honestly don't know which one I'm going to pick up. They're about the same length. Um, the thing is, is that I think this one's slightly more interesting to me right now, but this has large prints in the audiobook, so I, it feels like it'll go by quicker. But then there's one more issue. I got the audiobook for 56 days today. Like two hours ago, I got this audiobook. So now I'm sitting here like, ooh, do I want to start and read some of this one while I have the audiobook? Because I'm only going to have it for like three weeks and I'm going to be busy during those weeks. So, like, do I start it? Uh, this one, again, is also like just over 300 pages. So it's only slightly shorter than the other two, but I haven't started it. Um, but it's a tall book, but it doesn't look too bad. So there are three books that I want to read and finish right now. And that's not going to happen, but I really want it to happen. So that is currently my dilemma. Whatever reading I do tonight, I will update you next week's vlog on Thursday next week's vlog tomorrow and Thursday when I start uh, Dark Academia. Um, I have three books for this as I do most other weeks and I'll let you know in that vlog what I'm starting with but yeah that's where I'm at so far. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you can get notified when I post which vlogs will be going up on Thursday and regular interesting content type videos will be going up on Tuesdays so I'm posting twice a week now which is really exciting and I'm loving it um, also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you're excited to see more of my future vlogs voice crack <laughs> comment down below if you're reading any thrillers if you read these what your thoughts you know I would just love to sit and chat with you guys um, yeah otherwise I will see you all in the next video until then I wish you happy spooky reading.